All right, what is up, you guys? I'm here with the Owen Heart of Gold three disc set review, and also I do have the alternate artwork here, still sealed. This is one of my prized possessions when it comes to DVDs, extremely rare. But there's no difference content-wise, only cover. Well, not just the cover, all the artwork, but you know, same runtime and everything. It's just cool to show. So. For years, this was the most longed for, the most asked for, and the most anticipated release, I think, of all time. And, you know, we finally got it. Um, and the reason we had a cover change was his uh, wife, Martha Hart, is, um, she's very, I'd say, very bitter. And she has pretty much control of her husband. So, after his death, obviously things aren't really going to be the same. You can't really 100% blame her. And, you know, that's why he's not in the Hall of Fame yet, which I think he will be one day. He definitely deserves it. As I think he was, in my opinion, the most talented of the Hart family. So, we have Owen, Heart of Gold, three-disc set here. You just have your picture of Owen Hart there. And this is glossy. It is embossed up top and the lettering. So, yeah, this is a beautiful set. Very, very well deserving. And you can see the logo there. Just on the spine. He has this slammy award, which is really cool. And then the back here, just really cool pink and gold theme on this so we do have a six and a half hour runtime, which is kind of short honestly but uh, there is a blu-ray version of this out there so you can always get that one as well with um i think it's like an hour and a half of extras but yeah th there's a lot of attention to detail on this set as you can see just very beautiful and very well done when it comes to packaging. And I love this. You have these black and white pictures, but then the pink is highlighted. So cool. You know, I love just little details like that. If you open it up here, you get, um, you have the listings behind the discs. And then you have Owen and Brett at WrestleMania 10. And they also made the rope pink for that one, too. Because if you remember correctly, it was a gold or yellow, whichever. It's supposed to be gold, but it came off more yellow. But So, each disc has its own little emblem, little symbol. You have the heart and the lightning. You know, the king of hearts there. And then, kind of like a flaming heart. So, the documentary takes up all of disc one. It's not the longest documentary that they've ever done, I'm going to be honest. I think it's like an hour and four or five minutes, somewhere around that runtime. But, you know, it does do it justice. And one thing to uh, highlight about this documentary, is it, it doesn't really get into his death um, very prominently. I don't know if that was his wife's decision or if it was their decision. But, yeah, we don't really have that many... Um, references to his death. I mean, obviously it's mentioned. He's not alive anymore, but... You know, just the last chapter there is May 23rd of 99. But obviously this gets into his early life. Uh, stampede wrestling. You know, he was born into the Hart family. So, you know, just wrestling was everywhere. And it talks about his father's promotion, Stampede. Talks about the Blue Blazer gimmick. Um... And it also gets into a lot of the pranks he would pull. Um, that was also seen on Bret Hart's Hall of Fame speech. Hilarious stories. Just, you know, it's gold. And, you know, you get into his title reigns, uh, the Hart Foundation, of course. And then the Return of the Blue Blazer, and we all know how that one kind of ends. But, you know, it's a good documentary. I, I think it could have been a little longer, you know, but... At least we're getting it. That's kind of the way I look at it, honestly. Disc 2. We have a ton of stories here. You can see. 
it's kind of hard to see with the plastic there. That's why I don't like when they put it behind the plastic. I prefer it over on the side or in insert form. But so you get all these stories here. Feel free to pause it. Talks about his first WWE match. Um, WrestleMania 12 fan. Just seeing different stories. So, uh, you know, European title match, all that stuff. So, match-wise, we have spanning from 86 to, I'm assuming, 99. No, 98. Alright, so we have Bret Hart. Yeah, Bret Hart. That's, yeah. Owen Hart versus Viet Cong Express 1. Owen Hart versus Makan Singh. Blue Blazer versus George South. Blue Blazer versus Mr. Perfect. Owen Hart versus Mark Kyle versus Shawn Michaels for the Intercontinental title. Of course, you have his WrestleMania 10 match on here with Bret Hart. Owen Hart versus Razor Ramon, King of the Ring. Owen Hart versus Bret Hart, Lumberjack match. Kind of a rare one. Owen Hart versus Nick Barberi. Disc 3, we have Owen Hart and Yokozuna versus the Allied Powers. Owen Hart versus Shawn Michaels. You have one versus Mankind. Another with British Bulldog. Intercontinental title match against Rocky Maivia. The Hart Foundation uh, versus Stone Cold, Ken Shamrock, Goldust, and Legion of Doom at the, you know, very famous in your house Canadian Stampede show. Owen Hart versus Goldust for the European title. Dungeon match versus Ken Shamrock. And then Owen Hart versus Edge at Breakdown. So yeah, for the people that didn't know, he, he once did face Edge, which is cool. Two of the best. So, you know, let me know what you thought of this one. You know, like I said, the runtime could have been a little longer, but it still does Owen Hart justice. We finally got the DVD that everyone wanted. And for the longest time, this was actually my highest viewed review I ever did on one of my older channels. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.